Thank you so much for coming up here. Share with us a little bit before you received your financial breakthrough, the journey and uh, what happened in January. Okay, so I started coming to Hungry Gin last June. Uh, I've wanted to move from Othello for many years, and, but the one requisite, requisite I had was I wanted to belong to a church that loves God and is growing and full of passion for Him. And so when I came to Hungry Gin, I've been looking for a house here in Pasco, and that's, several of you have prayed with me for that. So, in um, Jan 1st of January, Pastor Vlad challenged us for the sacrificial offering, mm -hmm. January 27th. And that afternoon, as I was driving back to Othello, I said, well, Lord, what do you want me to give? Mm -hmm. And he put, a, he put a, an amount in my mind. I said, God, that's half of a down payment on a house. Mm -hmm. And so, okay, whatever. I says, because I'm your steward, it's your money, and it's not mine. So I just said, whatever, okay. So in the next, the next service, uh, we were singing with the worship band, and uh, I heard the Lord say, put your faith where your praise is. And then he said, put your money where your mouth is. <laughs> I said, okay. And uh, then the following week, while he was giving the, whoever was giving the sermon, um, I got, I saw the ram, Abraham's, the ram that was provided for this Abraham sacrifice in the bush. I said, okay, whatever that is. And that week, my house sold. My son bought the lot I had in Connell, and I received inheritance I didn't think I'd ever get. And so I thought that was great. And uh, then, so I came with it as a cheerful giver. And, and uh, in fact, I said, Lord, I'll give $500 more. And so I put that in the offering too. So, Super Bowl Sunday was the next week. Guess who won the pot of $500 at my son's house? Right back, come on. And then um, I found a house to rent in Pasco. And it was, uh, it's everything I had written down that I wanted in a house. And uh, Friday I moved in. Somebody else bought an item for $500 I hadn't expected. So you just cannot give God. Come on, come on. I mean. That's powerful. That's huge. Come on, you guys. One second, Brenda. This is incredible. As she was telling me, it was just like one thing after another. And you were saying these things were, weren't even, uh, were happening and you didn't give the money yet. You just made that decision. Correct? Yes. And what would be your word of advice, Brenda, for those that are here and um, they're wanting to take that step of maybe tithing or offering or what would be your word of advice for those that actually need maybe a financial breakthrough? Start small. Be consistent with your tithe. And yes, increase. As the Lord gives you more, increase. We tithe, my husband and I tithed since... Um, we made $99 a week in, way back in 1971. But when we first got married, we tithed 10%. We saved 10%. And we had $7 left to eat on for the whole month. Wow. But through my parents and other people that first year, and it just seemed to grow every year. And we had my son Josh uh, the following year. We never had medical insurance, probably for the first 15 years we were married. But all of our children were paid for. We never, we've never lived in debt. And we didn't even have a credit card for the first 18 years of our marriage. Wow. So that's the goodness of God. He has just, you live in the riches, you live in the abundance of God, whether it's financial 
or it's time, money, and talent. We need to give all of ourselves to God. If you can't tithe financially, tithe your time yeah. or your talent. Give whatever is in. Come on, amen. That's so good. That's so good, Brenda. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching this content. I know this was a blessing to you. We would like to ask you to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell on our channel so that each time we upload something, you can be notified. Don't forget to share this content with your friends and family and on social media. We're so thankful to you. Better is not good enough. The best is yet to come.